Today, I want to talk to you about the idea of the undercover boss and read to you from Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. This is what we read. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. This section of Paul's letter to the Colossian reads almost like the book of Proverbs. It's filled with lots of practical, easy-to-understand instruction about a wisdom-filled life that glorifies God. In this part, the apostle wrote to bond servants, people obligated in employment to others. It's not a perfect analogy, but the ancient bond-servant-master relationship could be something like the modern employee-employer relationship. In that context, Paul told the Colossians and us today, to do everything heartily as unto the Lord. The do in this context mainly has in mind the work we do, but it really can be extended to everything we do. So, whatever you do, do it heartily. Some people put passion and effort into some things, but God wants us to do it in all things. Don't work or play like a robot doing a job with no heart. It's been said that there are no boring days, only boring people. Whether at work or at play, living life heartily reflects the glory of God, and it gives him glory. You see, whatever you do, do it as to the Lord. Realize that in work, your real boss is God. In recreation, your real partner is God. He is master and Lord over everything, so everything should be done as to him. If God directly asked you to clean a window, you'd do a great job. Doing everything as to him makes a big difference in attitude and performance. No Christian should be a dishonest, lazy, or unreliable worker. Whatever you do, do it not to men. It is likely that a flesh and blood human being is your supervisor or customer. Like all humans, they have their faults. This usually affects your attitude towards what you do for them. Yet the Christian does not ultimately serve men, but God. Lift your service to heaven. Elevate it from the earth. And whatever you do, realize you will receive the reward. Sometimes hard work does not get rewarded on earth, but God knows how to take care of his people. And for them, none of what they have done as to the Lord will go unrewarded. Do your work heartily and as to the Lord, and you will always come out ahead. At the end of verse 24, Paul repeated an idea when he wrote this, for you serve the Lord Christ. According to one commentator, this is an unusual phrase. Elsewhere in his letters, Paul wrote, The Lord Jesus Christ. It may be that Paul's idea was that our true master, our true boss, is Jesus. So remember for whom you work for. You work for the Lord Christ. If we think of Jesus as our true boss, remember that he was and is the greatest undercover boss of all time. He came to live, serve, and suffer among us. Jesus knew what hard work was like in all his years as a carpenter or builder. He did all his work heartily as unto his Father, and he can sympathize with you in the difficulties you have in doing whatever you should do heartily as unto the Lord. So Jesus can even strengthen you to do it better. Then, at the end of it all, he rewards you for what he strengthened you to do. You'll never find a better boss than Jesus. Give him your service today. 